So in this video, we want to show you two different use cases. And the first use case uh, we have on the left side, the room for the production. Right side, the room should be the storage room. And in the first use case, uh, we just want to have a dimming function. So we want to have the switches switching on the light, switching off the light, and even when we hold the button a little bit longer, then we can dim the light up and down. And then in the second use case, uh, we want to have in the second room what is for the storage. We want to have a constant light control um, for dimming the light automatically by influence of the natural light which comes through the windows. Okay, so here we can see our demo set. And on the demo set in the middle, we have got the lighting management controller where we have here the DALI power supply module and here on the right side, the DALI multi master module. And additionally, we have here on the left side, uh, an ocean switch. This is a one fold switch. And also on the right side, we have got a DALI switch coupler, what is just a, a mono stable um, switch in this case. And additionally, we have uh, six uh, LED lamps and in each room we have got one multi-sensor what can measure presence and brightness. The demo application shows uh, two different rooms and one room should be used for a production hall and the other one is a storage room here. Inside we have here the power supply and here we have got the Ocean receiver and the DALI ECGs for the LED lamps. So first of all we start now with the use case number one, the dimming function. And now I need just a browser. In this case I use Mozilla Firefox and I insert here the IP address of my lighting management and he opens automatically the web visualization and here I have to begin by inserting username and password so and here we are so after the login, uh, at first I want to show you here files and inside files I will edit these labels because there we want to create two virtual rooms and the first virtual room will be our production and the second room is the storage. As next I will use my inputs and here on my demo application I have got some DALI buttons and I have got some Enotion buttons. So here I will begin to, to address the DALI buttons. So here I just click on start for the addressing and now he has to find exactly one DALI button. Okay, here it is. And I can check the function of my DALI button. When I um, press the button, then I can uh, see here the value. Okay, I've checked the function. And now I can assign these button directly to my virtual room. So in this case, it should be the storage on the right side, the right room. And I should not forget that this is just a, a single button, so I have to select even the function of the button type, what is a single button here. Okay, so this is the DALI button. As next, I can address here my Enotion buttons. And in this case, there's a very useful function, what is called the teach in function, what I activate and now I just need to double click the buttons and so he will detect the buttons automatically. So here I can see the ID of my uh, detected button 
and same way like the Dali buttons, I can check the, f on the value here, but when I click the button, then I can see here, this is the upper one and this is the lower one. And finally, I just have to assign it to my room, what is in this case a production. Okay, so next step will be our outputs. So here is a register for outputs. And um, as first, I have to find here the addresses of my DALI modules. So I start with the addressing here. Now he will find in total six different devices and the addresses will be given according to the randomized principle. Okay, so he found exactly six addresses. And here the icon tells me that this is an LED lamp type. Okay. Of course, I have to know which address is used by what lamp. So here I start with the very first one and I click the button uh, for locate. And now I can see that uh, already the first lamp is blinking. So there I don't need to change the address. Then I select the second one. But this is the last one as you can see in the picture. So I will change the address and this is the number five. So and here we have the number one. So it's the number one because we start to count by zero. And the next one even, this shows us number three that it's already done. And this should be number four, it's also good. And the last one here, this is the number two. So these addresses, they look good. And finally, I can sort the addresses here according to numerical order. Okay, and I stop the locate function. To check if all lamp is now addressed and is in operation, I can use the light chaser function. And this will make that every lamp will be switched on. In this case, I have configured one second. And so I easily can just watch and see that all the lamps uh, are working. So then I can switch off the light chaser. And as next, I will assign these lamps to my virtual rooms. And the idea was to uh, use the first four lamps inside the production hall. So I select the first four lamps and then I open virtual rooms and here I select the production. And at the end, I have to click on set groups. And now it's done. Okay. The last two lamps, they belong to the storage. Here the same procedure. I select them and then I select here the virtual room storage and I click on set groups. Okay, even here you can see that the first four lamps, they belong to the group number zero and the last two, they belong to group number one. So after we have addressed inputs and outputs, now I have to select the function. And here we wanted to have for the storage, uh, sorry, the production, we wanted to have a dimming function. So I select here dimming. And we want that the light has to switch on at 100%. So that means I have to use the dim level for switch on and there is already selected 100% for the switch on value. The second room, the storage, there we also want to have a dimming function. And in this case, we keep the switch on by last dim level. Okay, so the function is done now. And if I, I can check here if I have assigned the right lamps to the right virtual rooms. So here, as example for the storage, I just click on 
on and I can see that only in that room the light has switched on. And same way when I select here the production, I can switch it on and only the lamps in the production hall are switched on. Also on the right side I have got a status and I can always see what is the actual value or as example I can see what was the event what has switched the, the lamp in the last time. So now I will demonstrate the function we made just before. So here is the Notion switch button to control the light here in the production. So I can switch it on. Now it's on 100% and I, if I want I can dim it down and I can switch it off. And when I switch it on it's again on 100%. On the other side on the storage I can switch also the light here by the DALI switch button. And I can dim the light down and when the light is down and I switch it off and then I switch it on, it's on the last value when I switch it off. Always the last step should be to click on file and here we should always save that function. So when the power is off that we don't lose any configuration we have done. Additional, here's a built-in um, documentation. So wherever I am, I can click here on the question mark and that will display here um, the documentation. So on the second use case, we just want to demonstrate how a light control works when we want to have a constant light uh, in that room. And for that, I will change the, the function of that uh, virtual room. First, for that function, we will need additional inputs. And for that, we need the DALI multisensors. In this case, we have installed in each room a DALI multisensor. And here, at first, I have to start the addressing. Each multi-sensor has two sensors. One is for presence and the other one is for the brightness value. So in total he will find four sensors in two devices and we have four addresses. Okay, here they are. And you can see already here the light level, what they are measuring. And also when I shake my hand, you can see they detect my presence. And if I want to know which one is in which room, I select one here and I can click on locate. And then the small green LED on that sensor is blinking. And so I can see that this one is in the second room, what means this is in the storage. And so I can assign this one directly to my storage. And even the other one, that one is in the production. So the second step is that we have to change the function. We want it in the virtual room, what we call the storage. Here we want to have a, now a constant light control. So here I select the function the light control and there is already the sub function is called the constant light control. Always the final step should be to switch on file and here on file I have to click on save. So at the end I will check the function here. Uh, first, I have to click the button, the DALI button, and he is switching on the light at the maximum brightness. And uh, now I will use the torch just to um, make the reaction a little bit faster. So the light sensor will measure a lot of brightness. And so we can see that he is dimming down the brightness level of the LEDs now very quick. Okay. And then when I switch off the torch and I cover the sensor with my hand, so he's measuring no brightness anymore and then he's dimming the light level up again.